Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect. I am back. So, let us see if you've got anything around here to do with the quests. Um, no. Alright, so let's look at our journal. Got assignments. I should probably be doing some of these. Okay, what about the missions? All right. Well, let's, I guess let's go back to the ship. Um, hopefully I can use this thing over here. Looks like I can. And I cannot. Thank you for wasting my time. Unless it's a wars location, but I don't think it is. Probably is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Wow. Alright. Well, thank you for saving my time. Yes, very useful. And on the way up here, we're going to hear a whole bunch of bullshit about how I made a big boom boom with that reporter. Oh my god, the FPS. What is up with it? In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Alright, nothing about us then, good. Okay, I, I can do some stuff. Uh, what was I even gonna do? Oh, I can get my weapon. Ah, because I arrived. Never mind. Wait, what? There's something I can inspect. Interesting. This is a big ship. Quite oh, beautiful. But let's go in it. Stan? I was going to go into my settings, I just remembered. 10 AGP, dude. Hello? I want I want more. Where the hell did I don't even know what this is. Okay. Apply. Sure, party. I, I don't really care about particles all that much. And you people shouldn't either. Is there 720? I see no 720p. I guess it stays at 1080 then. Cool. Ultra high net flip. Uh, never mind. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Where am I? Okay. Actually, I I heard somewhere that I need to go talk to people after each mission, and now it's like going to give me bonus points or something. So I should do that right now. Um, just bear with me, guys. Uh, this might be interesting.
assuming I can find someone to talk to. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Elenko, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. But we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. But that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your commander. I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a, a whiner. Besides, I've got my pass squared away. See, I got more XP. And some stuff to the Codex, but, uh... Oh, a sleeper pods. <laughs> and I get, and I get XP for it. Nice. Oh, did you did you see them sick moves? Um, he he like just tic tac that that sleep pod. Um. Wait, there's an office. That's my place, all right. Wait, where am I? I'm this dot here. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, it's, it's these doors. Never mind. And this is my office. Cool. He's just doing tic tacs all over the place. What a crazy guy, right? Yeah. Uh, now let's go to the other place, which was uh, over here. Um, anyone? <laughs> That's how you get it. Okay, could have known that a long time. I need grenades. Where the hell do my do I get my grenades? Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. See? XP. Ah, talk.
I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes, I would run afoul of indigenous lifeforms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau, I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. People. Um, you are not people. You are an alien, okay? So, uh, game. Okay. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs okay, guide your people, their that followers makes more into the now. future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate... Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess! How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. Ooh, interesting. Uh... Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. Do you know why Benezia joined up with I don't Saren? understand. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. 
We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered spaceflight and left our homeworld. Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Maybe she wanted to meet you, but couldn't. Something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? No. She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know... Think about... You... Asari... I... It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by... Benezia... Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species... You Asari could... live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. <sighs> that was a long chat. Sorry if that was a bit boring, guys. Um, now let's find Tali uh, and all the other people. I just, pff, I just went against my own point. Everyone else. So where would they be? I guess let's go up. There might be somewhere around here. Uh, sorry for not doing any fighting today, but I was told that this was pretty important to do, actually. Maybe I should talk to, like, everyone. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Oh, Paragon, that's good, I guess. Examine. Can't talk to them. Or them. Let's go talk to Joker. He's always fun to talk with, if he has anything. Dude, where is everyone else? Commander, something you need? I have to go. All right, see you. Okay. He's getting XP. Alright, well, since I cannot find anyone else, this may be where they are. 
Maybe I should chat to the council about some stuff. Actually, I cannot do that. They call me up. Not the other way around. So let's go to the galaxy map and see where we need to go. So, um, don't like biotics. Pharos, okay. Should I go to Novaria? Okay, uh, no very again. Okay, there's a colony. Okay, land. Um, let's say five more minutes and then we'll pause. Unless there's something really interesting. In which case we'll carry Approach on. Control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. Oh, what a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Cause do that. All right. Well, let's go outside. Um. Wait. Which one is it? Pfft, I don't even know where that is. Ah, oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. Ah, oh, God. Uh, okay, let's look. No, I don't know. Liara is better for biotics. But then we have a very weak combat strength. Which is why we want Ashley, but Ashley A is a bitch. B she has no other things. She's terrible at fighting. Does Ashley always die? I don't remember now. I think we'll go for this. Yes, a bit of everything. Equalizing Come on. interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. What's guilty? The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Okay, I uh, I like his powers. Good thing I chose him. Um, customs, okay. I don't like this planet already. I think I've been here before and I don't think I liked it very much. Where the hell do I go? There, okay.
That's far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I wouldn't say who are you, but that would be bad. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Stand down. Their house, their rules. If you think this is best, Commander. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirm their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Alright, well, may maybe I have not been on this planet yet. I'm just, let's talk. Get out of here. Fuck you. I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. And that is who? Just here. Weapons detectors, don't mind the alarms. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. Where can I find the administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, I don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. This place. Too many dark secrets. I, li I like these doors. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. Apart from me. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. All oh, right. Um. Oh shit, that's a big place. Yeah, that's where I go. Wait, what the fuck? No. Um. That's a Dalek. That looks like a Dalek. And okay. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to leave until next time. Um. Quick save. Okay. So, thank you for watching, and as usual, I'll see you in the next one. See you next time. Bye-bye.